Syrian civil defense volunteers run to the scene of a missile strike on Marat al-Numan in Idlib province. The aid organization Médecins Sans Frontières says the strike hit a hospital where its doctors and nurses were working. It says there were at least seven deaths among its staff and patients, and at least eight other staff were unaccounted for, unclear if they were alive or dead. The hospital, it said, completely destroyed. A UK-based monitoring group that tracks the violence in Syria's civil war says a separate strike on the town hit another hospital, killing two nurses there. Dr. Mego Terzian is president of Médecins Sans Frontières and calls both strikes deliberate. It's clearly an attack uh, against the medical uh, mission. Uh, to be today a doctor or a nurse in, uh, in the areas controlled by the opposition, it's equal to be a criminal. Residents here blame Russia for the strikes. They say the number of planes deployed were more than what the Syrian military usually uses, and the munitions more powerful. Since September, Moscow has been supporting its ally, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, with an aerial campaign and dismisses suggestions that civilians are dying in the assaults. Médecins Sans Frontières says it feels desperate and helpless against these attacks, but expects its work to continue in northern Syria, where it says few organizations still dare to work in the field.